you know, patience is something you just have to learn over a long period of time. And when you work on projects that, like the National Museum of the American Indian, uh, which started, we started in 1967, and finally got the Enabling Act in 1989, and then didn't get the last of the three facilities on the Capitol Mall until 2004, you know that things take a really long time, but it's, it's very good work. I mean, it's much like gardening. You're, you're, you're not doing it all the time, and you just plant things here and there, and you can go away from them because they're going to grow themselves in, in some cases, and then sometimes they need your attention. But that's the part that um, where, where you really merge experience with patience with the, the kind of movement that you need in order to make something happen. Because if you do nothing, if you're just patient and <laughs> sit back, nothing will happen, really. Um, you might get more weeds than anything. There's not a single thing I've done except write poetry that has been just myself. Everything else, whether it's making a federal Indian law or making an institution or changing society, uh, changing history, rewriting history, all of those things are grand collaborations. And they take, um, they just take a mighty effort. And unless you have the people and the energy and the will and the people who, un who really have, have a passion for doing a certain thing, nothing will happen. But if you have all of those things, everything's going to happen. And, and if you just stick it out long enough, you prevail. And that's been my experience. As a Cheyenne woman, one of our first instructions was, well, to the whole of the Cheyenne nation was that the nation would be strong so long as the hearts of the women were on the ground, were not on the ground. So what that means is you're going to have a strong nation as long as the women are optimistic. So it's my job as, as a Cheyenne woman to be optimistic and to be, um, um, to be rich in holding that goal of, of something that's positive that can be achieved. So I always think that we're going to prevail in whatever we do, and by golly, we've done in most of it.